Hello everybody, I will be discussing the topic of the E3 2014 location, or the area that was shown off in that presentation. Um, a lot of people in a lot of videos that discussed some of the similar areas that were shown off in earlier betas of the game have been questioning the location or the existence altogether of that specific location. Today I'm going to be trying to piece together things that I've discovered things that make sense, things that can be theorized. Um, I just want to discuss those and see how you guys, what you guys think of it. I found some pretty interesting clues, but before we actually start analyzing some of this, we have to um, look at the actual image of the original area from the E3 2014 presentation because there's a lot from that presentation itself that is not the same whatsoever obviously first we gotta start discussing what Nintendo was planning to do with the game originally because they started to change a lot of things mid-development and hence it led to so many delays now obviously in this image something that I should point out is that the world in this image is a lot larger than the final world in Breath of the Wild um, some people might not agree with that but it actually is and some of you will probably, some of you probably wonder, like, why? Why was the world never this big? Did they cut it? Did they decide not to make it that big? Well, no, actually, the world still is pretty large. It's not as large as it is in this image, but it is still large. But one thing that this image does lack a lot of are a ton of mountains. There aren't even as close to as many mountains in this version of the game than there is in the final version of the game. And the reason that there's not that many mountains is because this presentation was done before they made the decision to add the climbing mechanic. Um, it was even stated somewhere, I, I can't even remember where, but it was stated somewhere that they made a decision to add a climbing mechanic and make the world more vertical. So what they did was they scaled the size of the world down and then it just turns out the way it does now. And the final game has a lot more mountains and a lot more climbing included. This right here just seems like something that, you know, you would ride a horse around in a lot more. It seems like horses were going to play a larger role, but, I mean, they do play a big role in the final game, but climbing also replaced some of what the horse was supposed to do in the original. So, some things to point out in this image is that some of the trees are not the same. A lot of things were early, and this specific area, I'm going to tell you right now, does not look nowhere near as what it does and god <clears throat> so there are a couple things in this image that are actually still in the final game but in order for us to understand where they are we got to take a look at some of the objects in the actual image now here I've placed some arrows to point out some of the things that I'm gonna be covering here in a couple minutes First off, to the very left of the image, you could see a little house, a little cabin, and then behind that cabin, very if you look very closely, there is a waterfall. That waterfall is an actual object. It's an object, a 3D model that is rendered a couple times in the actual final game in certain locations of the world. Um, but I'm going to be discussing where the where one of those main locations is and how it's important here in a couple minutes. But in the middle. And close to about the top up there, you can see Death, Death Mountain, which obviously is really, really far away. And obviously in the final game, it's not that far away. It's a lot closer. Like I said, they scaled the size of the world down and made it more vertical. The final version of Death Mountain looks a lot more intimidating, and I like it better than what it is, whatever is going on here in this image. To the far right, you can see this strange mountain that has like paths leading up to it, and I will also explain in a minute here what that mountain is, where it is, and how you can still find it. Um, down, if you look closer to the foot of that mountain, there seems to be like this huge stone arch with trees on it. That is actually in the final game, but they moved it. Um, also, to the far left, you can see the Twin Peaks, which I'm bl blatantly is in the final version. But once again, we will be going over this 
because they they moved a lot of these things a lot closer together and moved a couple little things around like i said most of these flat areas you see in this image are no longer flat there they've been replaced with mountains and all of the extra world that was in the game all the extra world that was in this game in this image in this beta that you see right here whatever you would want to call it actually was cut off and they just threw it out beyond the boundaries of the world and the reason i know this is because outside of the boundaries of the world i've used hacks and i've free flown past the boundaries and i've discovered a lot of weird textures a lot of weird mountains that just you wouldn't normally be able to see and there's an actual extra boundary beyond the original boundaries that you can't see and those boundaries actually kind of seem like boundaries that would have been there originally if the world would have been made larger and therefore i believe that some of the boundaries beyond the original world limits we see now are just leftovers and they moved all of their assets and models into the world that we have now and therefore it just looks like blankness there are some areas out of bounds that you can even walk on and enemies spawn there which is interesting um <clears throat> so next up let me get to it first off i'm showing you an image of hatino village yeah hatino village this is really interesting simply because if you look to the left you can see the exact same now it's obviously been formed a little bit to blend in with the the land but there's that same waterfall that we saw in the previous image now if you want to go back and look at it you can you can but it is the exact same waterfall it it's literally the same it's just been changed a tiny bit the shape of the waterfall itself is actually the same now the reason I'm pointing this out here specifically in Hatino Village is because, well, it's a village and there's a lot of interesting designed houses here that kind of are kind of similar to the one that was in the original E3 2014 reveal trailer. Now the next image I have is of me standing on a cliff in Hatino Village. Now what is interesting about this cliff is if you look to the left, there's that same waterfall that I pointed out, but to the right of the image you can see the Twin Peaks. Now, I stated previously that the world was scaled down and all of the objects that we saw really, really far off in the distance are now a lot closer. So, you know, there's the Twin Peaks right there. Um, this next image is from on the other side of that mountain that it was to the it, it's on the it's to the like west of the Twin Peaks Hatino village is on the other side of this mountain now what's interesting about this mountain is is because it I think it might have been the same mountain that we that I pointed out that spirals up a little bit now don't don't I, I'm not saying that this is actually legit I'm not saying that this is the same mountain but it is similar everything is similar in design um, the next image I'm showing you is I'm in the exact same spot that I took the previous image, but I'm facing the opposite direction. You can see Death Mountain, and way over there to the right is where the Zora's Domain area is. Now, if you compare all the locations of these, you know, landmarks that I've pointed out to the original E3 trailer, the E3 2014 reveal, um, they are in the same general area. They might not be as far away as they were. They might not be as, the world might not be as flat. But remember that the world was made more vertical. They added a lot more mountains. So you won't be able to see as much as you did because the world isn't as flat anymore. So more than likely, the mountain that was originally to the right of Death Mountain in that image is now a lot larger and it now covers Death Mountain, but Death Mountain is still in the same general area as it was. It's it's still in the same general position. It's just been moved a lot closer. All of the stuff has been moved a lot closer. Now, this next image is one of the more interesting ones because I pointed out that stone archway in the in the E3 image, but there is also an archway really, really close to Hatino Village. Actually, you have to go past this archway to get to Hatino Village. It is, you can see it, it's right there in the center of the image. And in the background, you can see the Twin Peaks. Now, in the E3 2014 trailer, 
there was that archway was connected to the mountain to the right now to the right in this image there's also another that mount that was the mountain i was standing on in the previous image that i was trying to tell you that hatina village was on the other side of now behind that mountain is death mountain um it's quite obvious that it seems like they would have moved this archway from from that mountain to the right and just moved it over there for some reason maybe it fit better um, still to the left of where I'm at, that waterfall is still there. So it seems that they've taken the world, they've, like I said, they've made it more vertical, there's a lot more mountains, and the area where Link was riding the horse seemed to be remade into a more scalable and vertical area, and they put a village there, and it seems, I mean, that seemed logical. I honestly think that back in 2014, the original E3 2014 reveal was was like one of the very very early versions of the game. It was probably just a quickly made render um, of a, a, it might have been one of like the first versions of the world that they were making, and it wasn't. It was a lot of stuff was scrapped from that point. It was probably just you know scrapped before E3. They probably just used it so that they could kind of give everybody a feel of what the game was going to look like in terms of art style and, you know, give us a glimpse of Link in his new form. But I don't think that, you know, I don't think that they were planning to keep any of that the way it was. Because obviously, later on in that year, during the Game Awards, the world was literally shaping into what it is now. Because this area right here that you're seeing is still is still literally almost the exact same as it was during the E3 not the, not the E3 but the Game Awards 2014 you can also go watch Game Explains video they clearly compare this area to the Game Awards area um it's it's still literally almost just the same they've made some cosmetic changes to make it look better but i mean the stuff is still there guys but I'm not saying that anything I'm saying here or anything I'm showing here is like real. This is all just speculation. But I'm just trying to point out some of the facts or some not the facts. There's literally no facts, but some of the things that I've noticed that could possibly mean that the area where Hatino Village is might be the area that once was um the E3 2014 field. Now, some people were probably asking, well, what about the area where Link rides his horse through the woods and they he collides with the Guardian on that bridge? Well, a lot of other people have found an area in the Faron region, which I don't have an image of, but it's still there. Um, in the Faron region, there are a lot of giant broken-down owl statues, um, lots of enclosed paths. One thing that I am going to I'll tell you about that is that more than likely the area where Link rode his horse through while being chased by a guardian was just a small rendered area and it was moved in the Faron air into the Faron area because there's a lot of bird giant bird statues in that area that are very pr the exact same as the um E3 trailer now in the game's files I have found a model for an unbroken owl statue which I think it might have been a used in the final game. I haven't really noticed it anywhere, but it's there. Um, <clears throat> and in Faron Woods, there is an area that has a bunch of owl statues, giant owl statues stuck in the ground. And then there's like a little bridge that looks almost the exact same as the one that was used in the trailer. But I'm pretty sure that just about every single piece of landmass has been changed a little bit in some way. And the world has been made more vertical and everything's just been shrunken down into this small smaller area than what it originally was planned to be okay and a lot more details were made so i honestly think that this hatina village might be where the original e3 reveal was especially since it goes down a hill a slope but now it's just more mountainous um you guys can tell me what you think in the comments i'm not saying that any of this is you know accurate i could be completely wrong the e3 area could be just gone forever but this seems kind of you know at least a little accurate given the fact that all these locations are still in their same general area it's just that there's little things a lot of mountains and stuff in the way of everything and things are kind of moved a little bit um 
so yeah, and I'm sorry if I'm like stuttering a lot or if I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of tired right now and I have I didn't script this. This is just me talking off the top of my head. So, I mean, I don't know. You guys should tell me what you think. This is all I've gathered for now. I mean, I could have gathered more, but I have very limited time. So thank you for watching and tell me what you think.